Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, very good morning to everyone. Uh, this is Ravi Kanta Lenda. So I am your uh, Selenium mentor. Here we are going to be talking about uh, Selenium uh, with Java. Uh, we are talking about Selenium Java automation tool we are talking here. So, uh, so I hope everyone is fresher, some are experienced, some are non-IT. Of course, anyone can take this course. Who are eligible, someone have a doubt, Ravi. I am so and so, I am so and so, I am so and so. So and so, so and so, nothing worry. Non IT or freshers or experience, any kind of person can take this course. Yes. <clears throat> Every, or any, most of your friends say it's like uh, to get into the job, testing is very, very simple. You can get into the job easily. Yes, of course. Of course, testing is very easy to get into the job, but what your friend suggested is 100% correct. But along with that, you must have some programming knowledge also. You must have some programming knowledge also. Okay, now. So what kind of programming knowledge is required to learn Selenium? Yes, we have some uh, OOPS concepts like uh, we, various languages we can use like Java, uh, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, PHP, Dart, Go programming, SQL, etc., etc. These many language bindings, these many language bindings, our Selenium supports to automate. Use any one of these language binding, we can automate. So in every language banding, we require only core OOPS concepts. Core OOPS concepts we require to build your Selenium automation scripts. As this course is designed for Selenium with Java, we are going with the Java with the Selenium. Okay. So here we go with the first as a core Java. So we may have a doubt, Ravi, what kind of Java you must learn. The Java is a version, so many are there. So friends, we are the testers. Uh, we go with the core Java OOPS concepts only. Even for developers, they require core Java OOPS concepts and advanced and frameworks they require for development perspective. But from the automation, uh, Selenium automation, we require core Java OOPS concepts and we have some testing frameworks are there with the testing frameworks using the Java language banding and we'll be building our automation scripts. Okay, core Java means what kind of concepts will you be covering? Yes, like project, Packages, classes, interfaces, abstract classes, axis, non axis modifiers, variable types, data types and its default values, type castings from primitive to highest primitive, class to highest class, primitive to wrapper class, how to typecast, all those things we'll see that. And coming to the Java inheritance types, advantage of inheritance. Access non access modifiers, for loops, while loops, if conditions, else if, switch cases, single dimensional array, two dimensional array, user defined arrays, strings, debugging. Okay, now, and come to this uh, method overloading, method overriding, polymorphism constructors, exception handling, collections, okay, and getters and setters, file systems. These are all the four Java OOPS concepts we are covering as part of this Selenium course. Because with this, what are the concepts I delivered right now, whatever I said right now, each and every concept, without failure, we are using these concepts in our Selenium automation. So definitely, We'll work all these concepts in and out, basic understanding, and I'll give some assignments also uh, for concept base. Suppose if I talk about uh, loopings, I'll give some looping related examples I'll give for you. If I talk about strings, uh, string related operation functions I'll give, some programs I'll give on strings. If I talk about collections, collections related programs I'll give for concept base, not only giving the uh, idea of the concepts, and also give you some program practical programs also for your practicing so how much you technically sounds good 
then only you can build your automation scripts. I am not saying friends. The Selenium only is saying that. Let me show you. So the official website for Selenium is Selenium. Selenium dot dev is the official website for Selenium. See here. Selenium automates browsers. That's it. So my Selenium purely automates web applications only, not a window desktop applications. Web applications means the applications open through browsers are called web applications. So web applications only, my Selenium can automate. That's it. And what you do with that power is entirely up to you. What is that power? Technically, you must be sounds good. So what are the concepts I said? If you are familiar with that concepts technically, so you can build your Selenium automation scripts very easy. Don't feel hard. The concepts are very easy. And I make you understand very simplest way, giving best of the best examples. There is no tough in this job. Everything is very free. Okay. So just believe me and trust me and follow the classes and uh, follow the recordings and follow the doing the practices, exercises, then definitely you can uh, get into the right job in Selenium. It's very, very easy. Okay, fine. So first we go with the core Java OOPS concepts. What are the concepts I said? After completion of core Java OOPS concepts, we move to the Selenium automation. Here we have a components like a web driver and we have a grid. These are the two components, appropriate combination of components where we use to build you to work with the Selenium. Web driver. Using web driver, we used to build our robust browser based regression automation suits and tests by using with the Selenium web driver only. Whatever programs we build, we develop by using web driver only, browser based, we are developing. Because once we write a web driver code, that should be work with all the browsers. Such way, robust browser based regression automation suits and tests. We are going to be generated using web driver. Okay, once you build your source code, okay, that code we are supposed to be scale and distribute in promoting to execute parallelly in many computers and many browsers with the help of the grid only. We want to scale and distribute promoting to execute parallelly your developer scripts in multiple computers and multiple um. Uh, browsers then we take support of grid developing the programs using web driver scaling and distributing executing parallelly with grid there. so these two components we use to <coughs> work with selenium so in web driver what are the concepts will you be covering yes here it is go that we'll see you that concepts whatever we use so here we can see that so first of all we go with a how to launch a various browsers in dynamically a framework level how to launch browsers everything will see friends and next come to that options classes and profile concept friends when you are testing any application manually means your interaction if any source software comes you are you'll be in a position to handle that phase in automation everything you are instructing as a script and we are executing them Suddenly, if any interrupts comes related to the browsers, your presence will not be there. But you are the responsible person to handle such kind of events occur on browsers. So how can we handle that such things? Like suppose some notifications will come on browsers, some proxy settings, okay, certificate errors, information bars, like this kind of alerts, all these such things interrupts our executions to stop our executions if there's such kind of events occurs the automation engineer should be in a position to handle such cases for that case we will take the browser into our control we will take browser into our control so how can we take the browser into our control means just by creating user defined profiles on browsers our user defined profile we are creating on a browsers on that user defined browser profile we can take chance uh, whatever settings we can do that because the browser is into our control for that reason we created browser user defined browser profiles taking the browser into my control and I, what i instructed according to that browsers will act okay now 
So how to create a browser profiles on Firefox user profiles, Chrome user profiles, I user profiles, how do we create the user defined profiles? On that user defined profiles, how can we do necessary settings using options class? We can disable the notifications, we can maximize the window, we can disable the information bars, managing the certificate errors, proxy settings, all these kind of things uh, which can be done by uh, using options class on our user defined browser profiles. And next comes the synchronization. Friends, here you know. Our web driver scripts, our developed web driver scripts are very fast in executions uh, where our web application elements are very slow in loading the elements where there is a chance of failing our automation scripts. Yes, in that way, we want to sync between this application and your web driver script using some synchronization methods. Thread dot sleep is there, implicit weight is there, explicit weight is there. <sighs> To make sync, to make wait my script until the element loads, you want to make wait. So use some synchronization methods. And next come to the locators. Friends here, everything we are doing automation. Everything we are doing automation. How do I interact the web elements? Means uh, yes, using some locators. Friends, even suppose if I want to interact any one of the person, yes, how do I interact with your property, which is called name? Of course, you have so many properties. First name is there, last name is there, surname is there, height, weight, color, complexity, SSL number, author card number, order card number, employee ID. These are all the properties which you have. Of course, among these properties, uh, any one of the unique property I was interacting you. It's in a way, in an application, in our web application, We'll have many of many of web elements are there. Text box, radio buttons, checkbox, links, tables, calendars, etc. etc. Drop down. So many web elements are there. How do I interact with those elements? How we have properties to interact the persons? Similar way, for every web element, we have some defined properties. For checkbox having some properties, radio button having some properties. Text box is having some properties. Link is having some properties. By using any one of the unique property only, we are interacting the web element and performing the action. A similar way. So here, most of the people will be struggling on locators only. So especially on locators, I will concentrate for six hours. So three hours is basic understanding of the locators to build. And uh, remaining three hours, I'll be working especially on XPath and CSS selectors, where people mostly struggle writing the XPaths and CSS selectors. Here, most of the people kill the time in identifying the elements. How simple to uh, write the XPath, static XPath, dynamic XPath. Okay, simplest way in following some rules and equations, how to build, I will show you very simplest way. So especially locators for six hours, we are occupied on this. Okay, to make your hands free. And coming to the Marvin build. Marvin build. So any project we use the build tools. Of course, we have Ant as one build tool, Marvin is one build tool, and the Gradle is one build tool. We have so many build tools are there. Marvin is one of the build tools where we use to build our projects in this build tool. How to work with Marvin, how to add, add the dependencies, how to add the uh, uh, plugins, uh, how to run the goals, how to execute the scripts through Marvin build. All those things I will discuss about the Marvin project build. And next come to the test ng framework. Friends, here any project you are developing, we should follow some structured framework to build your projects. So where test ng is a Java defined framework, test ng is not a Selenium defined framework. It's a Java defined framework. By using this test ng framework, how we build a project? Like in test ng. We will have a various annotations before annotation, test annotation, after annotation, data providers, etc. etc. We have so many annotations are there. We will talk about what are the annotations are there, what is the importance of annotations, what is the sequence of the execution in the annotations. We'll see that. How do we convert these test ng classes into XML suits? How to execute test cases sequentially and parallelly, irrespective to the tests, irrespective to the classes, 
irrespective of the uh, methods, irrespective of the source, how to run parallelly, we'll see that. And how to, uh, how to set that as dependencies, we'll see that. How to group the test cases, we'll see that. How to disable the test case, we'll see that. How to work with the test engine listeners, we'll see that. How to work with the test engine data providers, we'll see that. How to work with the soft assets, hard assets in reportings. How to, how to make your test case pass and fail. How to generate a test engine reports. Okay, now. How to skip the test cases, how to set the priority of the test cases, how to parameterize the test cases. Okay, now. How to make pass, fail, skip like this. All these things uh, will show in the test ng. Okay, now. Yes, test ng especially uh, we will work on nine hours. Nine hours we'll work on it. And also, I will show you how to convert the test ng class into XML suits. And that XML suits programmatically also how to execute also I will show you. And we'll see one small pilot project also on test ng as well. Totally 10 hours will take to complete test ng. Okay, fine. And next coming to the page object model fact. So friends, here the meaning says page object model means we are working in respect to the pages. As you know that in our web application, we will have a pages. Suppose login one page, registration one page, kids where is one page, women's where is one page, add to card is one page. Like this number of pages together we call as a one web. So each page having some group of web elements. In each page level web elements, I will organize a separate Java class. How many pages are there? That many Java classes. We organize that the simplest way, okay? We'll talk about page object more all those things. So uh, next coming to that, automating links. Friends, majority of the elements in the web application will be the links only. How do we interact with links? A single link, how do we interact? Links in a page, how do we interact? A group of links in a specific section, how do we interact? Dynamic links, how do we interact? Broken links, how do we interact? Especially on automating links, one fine day we're talking about automating links. And coming to the automating drop downs. Friends, drop down means we are supposed to select the options. We will select a single option or we can select multi options. So how do we select the options in a drop down? Yes, various ways are there by using send keys, by using select class, by using actions class, by using JavaScript executors, we can select options from the drop down. One fine day we'll talk about automating drop downs and coming to the pop ups. Friends here, when we are working with our web, web application elements, some kind of pop-ups will stop your executions like HTML pop-ups. Okay. And uh, security pop-ups, Windows pop-ups, getting JavaScript pop-ups. This kind of pop-ups will uh, appear and stops your execution. These types of pop-ups occurs. Handling will be differently for each kind of pop-ups. So how do we handle such kind of pop-ups? We'll talk about it. And coming to the actions class. Friends here, some of the advanced elements can't be performed directly with a Selenium web driver. In that case, we will take a support of the actions class. Such kind of advanced actions like a mouse overing. Some of the elements, once a mouse over only, it is going to be populated. That kind of elements. Once I mouse over only, some list of items are getting populated. That kind of elements we call mouse over elements. Right clicking, double clicking, chain actions, dragging and dropping elements, automatic slide bars. These kind of advanced elements, advanced actions cannot be directly performed with a Selenium web driver that can be performed with a actions class. And next come to the JavaScript executors. So what we does with the web driver, same operations we can do with the JavaScript executor also, interacting web element, clicking on element, getting a title, moving a backward, forward, closing. Okay, all these things, sir, we can perform with JavaScript executors. 
next coming to the automating windows components friends here once you are automating web application elements suddenly some windows related uh, elements will appear my selenium will do hands up my selenium purely automates the web application elements only here also we have seen this year selenium automates browsers no windows elements will be identified with my selenium <laughs> only web application elements only my selenium will interact of course if i work with the selenium uh, uh, web applications suddenly any windows related elements comes how do i interact them how do i interact them means friends here we have various open source windows automation tools are there free tools which are nothing but auto it sukuli robotics like this kind of open source windows automation tools are there with the with the tools we can automate the windows related elements here i am using auto it we will we'll, we'll install that we we'll download we we'll install that we we'll write the auto it code we will compile that code we associate this auto it code with your web driver script wherever windows related things comes this auto it code will be invoking there and handling such kind of windows elements with using auto it one fine day we'll talk about auto it next coming to the web tables friends you know web tables means it contains rows and columns okay now in this row and specific column we have a cell a cell contain uh, some uh, value that can be a check box that can cell can contain radio button um, ex, uh, cell can contain the text boxes a cell can contain the links any kind of web element can be presented inside these tables if i want to interact a, a web element which is resides under the table first of all i must traverse among the table rows how many rows are there while iterating the rows in each row we have multiple cells it contains the web elements and each row iteration will go every cell in each row in that way we will find out our required web element is exist we will perform action on that okay how to work with the static web tables how to work with the dynamic web tables how to work with the date picker date calendars and paginations all such kind of informations will be working on web tables you will see some examples also on web tables uh, two hours three hours we working on the web tables only and come to that so properties files xml files microsoft excel friends we are building so many automation test cases for every test case required some test data every test case required some test data where we organize this test data we have various data sources where we can organize our test data property file is one of the data source xml file is one of the data source microsoft excel is one of the data source yes seven to eight hours we'll be working on a various data sources how can we store the data how can we give it the data the uh, test cases all those things we'll talk and next come to the grid as i said if you want to execute your developed web driver scripts parallelly in many computers many operating systems and many many uh, many browsers then we take help support of the grid if you are supposed to work with the grid in grid we have to do some setups uh, like hub and nodes hub is a kind of system nodes are a kind of system only as in network technology we say as a server and clients uh, a similar way we are calling in a grid in a grid as a uh, hub under nodes hub is a kind of server node is a kind of client systems okay now so we'll do the configurations in the uh, based on configurations we are our executions on various uh, node systems parallelly in different operating system and different browsers so <clears throat> so we are covering here selenium with a web driver with a grid next we next go with the devops so devops is a culture where it extends so many uh, components together we call, we call as a devops as a culture so devops will be used by the various teams like developers uh, testers integration team deployment team almost every team is using uh, for uh, for their needs devops so here as a testers we also use some components uh, so many components are there suppose to say uh, svn vss uh, github server git bucket okay um, 
Marvin, Ant, Gradle, okay, and uh, coming to that uh, uh, Jenkins, okay, and Chef, uh, Puppet, Ansible, Dockers, Kubernetes, so many components uh, uh, which we call as a DevOps as a culture. All these components together we call as a DevOps as a culture. As being a sister, where, what components we are using here means uh, we are using Marvin build tool and we use a, a source code management tool as a GitHub servers and a scheduler as a uh, our, our test case scheduler as a Jenkins. So friends, here Marvin build tool. Marvin is a build tool where we used to build our projects and GitHub server where we collaborate the uh, code across the team uh, with the GitHub server where Jenkins is a scheduler which is schedules your exe build executions uh, once you develop your project and uh, Jenkins will pull them and schedules your executions how the manner you supposed to execute whether you want to execute hourly or weekly or monthly or soon after code is committed in a GitHub server or how the manner you want to schedule your executions will be happening Jenkins only based on you configured after completion of the executions Jenkins will send a mail recipients to the mails to the recipients respect to recipients after completion of executions with HTML reports so DevOps will does the process it process the automation process the automation build the programs here contribute collaborate uh, push into this github server and pull and schedule the executions through Jenkins this end-to-end -end process it does. As simple to say, DevOps uh, to make equal to understand, it's a workshop. It's a kind of workshop. So you know, workshop. What happens? Suppose you take, suppose you're manufacturing BMW car. Do you believe all parts of BMW, all parts are belong to BMW? No, right? Types are manufactured by some other company, and uh, all headlamps are manufactured by some other company. And chassis, uh, body chassis is designed by some other company. Steering, bucket seats, electrical things, all are manufactured by different different uh, persons, and all are all are assembled in a BMW workshop. Okay, there is one 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 place where BMW workshop. Every components are coming to there, and every component is getting assembled there to making brand new as a bmw car similar way devops is one culture okay where we build the programs we collaborate the programs and we pull the programs and schedule the executions in a devops culture okay now fine next come to the frameworks so friends to build your uh, to build your applications we require some frameworks i said so one is a test ng framework next is a page object model Next is a data driven hybrid framework. These are the frameworks. And lastly, we do the project. Lastly, we do the project. These are things we cover core Java, Selenium, WebDriver with the grid, DevOps with the Marvel, GitHub server Jenkins, and frameworks, all these things. And a project we do lastly. And coming to the benefits. Benefits you get of this training. So friends, <clears throat> we'll be getting so soft copy material for Java and uh, Selenium. You'll be getting through mail, and you'll be getting the recorded videos. Recorded videos of your batch. For one year, you access. If people are not understood the concept, yes, you can watch the recordings. <clears throat> if your people are not uh, uh, attended for the class due to some of your car regions, personal regions, you can watch the recordings that will be given access for one year view access. And whereas come to the third one, so source code. Source code. Source code will tell you through GitHub server. So directly whatever I was building the programs for Java or Selenium or project, whatever I was building day basis, I will commit the code. As I said, 
as i said uh, github server is the which will uh, con co collaborate the code across the team see what i do daily whatever i do the programs in my system i will push the code into the github server so you can you can pull that code in your end uh, and you can watch it that program for your reference so we can collaborate okay source code will share through uh, github server okay and also doubts are always encouraged in asking the sessions if you have any doubts if you have any doubts any queries in a class you can you can uh, clarify your doubts or of course uh, after seeing the recordings tomorrow also you can ask the doubts always encourage in asking the doubts in a session and one more thing i will give some assignments also i'll give some assignments on java and selenium and java means technical programs and selenium will give some practical scenarios for uh, working on it to make hands on so my classes will help you to get into the job okay you must perfectly you need to practice whatever i was giving the programs and regularly if you watch the recordings and you practice then only you get the job my classes will help you to keep to keep experience also like 6 to 8 years that much uh, trust for the is my classes each and every concept will be very clear with practical oriented will give that as per the industrial standards how we follow the rules the same rules we build here to build a programs and i also i also ask you some questions also friends i'm not only teaching the classes i last in the middle suddenly i'll pick some of the persons in asking the questions also because how do i know whether you are following or not as hari kada i was keep on saying you keep on listening doesn't make anything that's why i'll make everyone to be alert everyone has to be pay attention during the class, my class session i last some questions definitely i'll i'll point to a person uh, to answer to the question that because i want not, nothing but because i want to make everyone to be participate in my class because my classes are very motivated very informative i don't want to uh, lose this chance by any one of the persons so definitely ask the question you must be answered whether right or wrong at least you should talk something related to the question what i asked if you're not speaking here itself how can you uh, speak in the interview most of the people do the same mistakes what comes they say i know everything i know everything if you ask the question i think is zero i take so many interviews as what comes is more is there on the people better practically you work on it things then definitely you can crack the entry please believe me and trust me please follow these guidelines definitely you can crack the entry and come to the timing uh, daily daily uh, monday to friday we will have a session daily monday to friday we will have a session friends okay daily uh, like 8 am to 9 am ist will be the session goes on and uh, on saturday sundays i will take a classes a special classes i will take especially for a uh, grid marvel github server and jenkins because these are the configuration kind of things i will not do in my system i will take any one of your computer as a screen presenter i will i will request you to do in your system i will instruct you to do in a system like this hands on i'll give that practical session i think to worry whatever configurations whatever instructions i will take practically i'll take challenging to uh, make it happen in your system so only for the selected options grid the marvel github server jenkins i will take uh, four weekends four weekends i will take okay that to morning 7 to 9 will be there saturday sundays so and coming to that uh, duration uh, okay duration will be two months duration will be friends daily monday to friday 8 to 9 and on weekends i will take the selected options weekends mean sunday also so yes saturday sunday i will take or oh, i said at mornings so 7 to 9 i will take only four weekends i will take i will inform not in java period i will not take any weekend classes when we start selenium sessions by that time i will take on weekends saturday sundays so two or so i will take So Java, we need to install any application, sir. Uh, for Java, I will tell you. For Java, we have to install Java software, and for to build your programs, we need to install the Eclipse. Everything I will take care. So tomorrow I will show you how to install the Java, how to install Eclipse, how to build, how to create a first project and a package and class. We'll show you in a tomorrow se session. I will sure. take care. Tomorrow I will take.
as a presenter to make it happen in your computers. So everything, wherever installation part is there, wherever contacts are there, that kind of scenarios, I will take, and I will make one of you as a presenter in showing in your respective systems. Everyone can do parallelly. If any challenges, any issues you are facing, I am there to help you out. Feel free to ask the doubts, even a single, okay, simple also. Don't like sing me silly silly. Classes also recorded. Yes. Sorry. The weekend class will be also recorded. That can be uh, again see the video. See entire class. Your entire class will be recorded. That will be shared through Google Drive. Okay. And sir, manual class manual testing is not performing in this batch. So no, this is completely this is the course core Java, Selenium, web driver with integrated DevOps frameworks and project end to end. It's a project oriented course. You can directly about fees. directly face the interview directly. You can work after completion of this course. OK, hello. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Can I get uh, all recorded videos because uh, I, I am working? I am not time to attend on daily basis for yes, two yes. months. You'll be getting the people who are uh, uh, not having time to daily uh, to join the class. For those people, we are giving the previous batch or recorded videos we are sharing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No issues. I am to just finish that video in 20 or 25 days. Miss, can I see all the videos? Yes, yes, you can find all the videos, uh, previous back videos you can find. We'll share okay, that. Okay. okay, I have all the uh, theoretical knowledge, but I am not having any practical knowledge. That's why if I seeing that all yeah, the videos. This course then is entirely I... practical, just only friends. This session is entirely okay. practical, just said no theoretically. I was uh, uh, bored with theoretic, theoretic, theoretical, that's why I'm not taking any manual class also. Because manual class okay. or everything is theoretically like theory. I like only practical, so everything will be practical in the set. Don't worry. Okay, sir. Uh, you getting the are you getting the one project? That means we have to work on uh, means a real basis on that project. Yes, we'll do on project. We in project what we do hybrid. We'll do ten days. Uh, ten days we'll work with hybrid project building, and ten days we are working on cucumber. These two on this two, oh. these two only will be in the market. So in these two we'll be building two projects. This twenty days we are occupied with project. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. sir. Can we put this project in our resume so that we can explain like this is the what we have? What is the project we will do, right? So can we put this project in the resume? <laughs> no, madam. No, 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 no. No institute will hear that that assistance here. I will tell you here how to build. If any project comes, how do we build from the scratch to ending to building, uh, conferring to the DevOps, how to schedule everything as a framework and that. Any project, see, take, see, no one will give this project. See, take uh, some by outside consultants will give the project, right? You take that, or you take any other your colleagues are working in a company, right? You ask them to explain their project, what they at least you keep that. The everything is process same. How to build from the scratch to execution, sending a mails to the team, everything end to end configurations in project, I will show you for 20 hours and hybrid and cuckoo. Okay. Yes. So we can build on any any application. Now see the application uh, can't do that. Don't keep this what we are explaining that here. Just process we okay. can explain. So for automating, what is the process you follow? You can explain that. See the end asking you. See manual test means they ask a domain knowledge. For automation engineering, they asking the process for automating the things. Yes or no? What okay. frameworks? Okay. How you how you organize your scripts? What are the challenges you faced while working with this framework? All such kind of things they'd be asking as a technical point. Getting? Okay, okay. I am working as a manual tester, so I thought to make it like a same project. I can automate it by using the same whatever the concept you are yes. explaining now. Yes, yes. Twenty hours we are working on the process. How do we automate? How do we organize the steps? If what are the challenges? Everything I teach here. Twenty hours on project. Okay, hello, and Java like. Hello, hello, sir. Yes. I have a career gap of uh, three years. So can I get mm -hmm. a job as a Selenium tester? That's what I'm saying. That my classes will support you six to eight years of experience. You can manage six to eight years of experience. You can manage that much. That's what I'm saying. That <laughs> zero to eight years. <laughs> okay. Hello. Ravi. Yes, yes, yes. 
uh, atul this side i am actually asking that uh, if uh, we are coming from different backgrounds okay we have a uh, different levels of experience also as well how we can uh, manage our resume at this time once we complete this session that's what i'm saying that even from freshman to experience they can handle it my classes i'm giving a training as expert level i'm giving that from basic to from starting level see the people who are freshers don't worry so who are middle level don't worry who are uh, migrating from manual to automation don't worry who are non it don't worry because everything from the scratch i was giving core java complete concepts i was giving slm concept cons complete concepts from basic to advanced we are giving that and also we are building the project any kind of people can easily understand i was treating everyone as a fresher sir even non it or fresher experienced person i was treating everyone as a fresher only such a way i was giving the training to the advanced level okay okay as uh, initially the, the java classes will be there right everyone can answer that question what indrio is asking you such a way i will train you here Okay. The okay. other thing which I wanted to, uh, you know, confirm that uh, we directly jump on Java, so there is not necessary to be proceed for the steps. First we go to Java. After completion of Java only, we'll come to the Selenium. So what are the concepts I said? Core Java concepts that each and every concept we use because every concept we use in Selenium as well. No, I'm asking that uh, there are the same concept which we are using in C, C++. So there is, uh, it means we don't have that much of knowledge yes. of C and C++. Yes. So there is. Yes, C. Yes, once you know Java, C sharp, Python is similar, but syntax will be very right. What are the concepts? I said same concepts will be there in a yes. C sharp and the Python and Ruby, but syntax will be very. Yes, sir. No. Yeah. Got it. Wearing a shoe is okay. Reebok is a brand, and uh, Nike is one brand like this. In that way, okay, like this also. Okay, those should be different to sir, language to language. Sir, I don't have any knowledge of basic of C or C plus plus. So can I directly directly learn a core Java? Yes, we can learn, sir. We can learn. So everything I'm giving from basics only, from basic understanding. I was giving that. Yes, we can learn, sir. There is no dependency okay. to learn C, C, come to Java. There is such kind of dependency there because everything I was giving from basics. So there is no confusion here, friend. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So from tomorrow, uh, there will start directly the, yes. for the training, or uh, there is one more demo classes? Is yes. There? No, tomorrow I will start directly. I will show tomorrow installation, installation part of uh, Java and uh, and the installation of eclipse and how what is the pro how do we create a project package classes with the naming conventions uh, first program execution we'll see in that tomorrow session the same link and same time the okay. same time so okay, we friends. can directly join through phone calls or uh, what how it is the systems your wish your wish your wish your wish, your wish. okay you can okay. join through uh, phone or you can join for move and screen a uh, uh, system so if i ask you see suppose i want i suppose you ask me Ravi, I want to install Java in my computer. I tomorrow I'll ask you, one of any one of you, whose system can I install? Are you connected okay. through mobile? Ravi, I want means I can't because the people who connected through mobile, I can't uh, switch to the. I can't make you presenter. The people who connected through system only, I can make presenter. Okay, na? Got it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And don't uh, don't share your systems because the people are connected through uh, company laptops. Don't share your screens. Because you have some uh, security reasons, right? So it will. Yeah, yeah. For you guys. Okay, make sure that. Okay. What is the course fees? It's a four K, four thousand rupees. For that, okay. Uh, yes. How can we do the payment? Will be uh, getting any link or management, anyone uh, will be contacting us? Yeah, management will be sending you the mail with the, all the bank transaction account details. So and uh, you can. Okay. Uh, Transfer to that accounts. Okay. So they are share not the answering the calls with proper link. They are not responding the Sorry? calls. They are not responding no, the calls. Sir. Today only. Yes, today only, right? You on join. No, no, no. Actually, from yeah. two three days uh, be before three to two three two three days, I have tried, but they are not responded. One second. Just tell me. There is any timeline is there? Because yesterday I called. Uh, they responded. I'll give you a number. One second. I'll give you the number, please. Just a moment. 
just a moment i'll give the number you can contact that once again. so i'm giving number it's eight six three nine eight six three nine three zero eight six six nine you can contact krishna he is the admin for this dukkha soft okay you can contact to this number eight six three nine three zero eight six six nine you can connect to this you can call to this number please okay is at okay. this station this so is there his krishna okay you can communicate and uh, i have, have one more doubt yes sir yes sir go ahead yeah ravi uh, you are the only person who taking care of all this training or someone uh, who will be jump uh, and continue myself, the session myself myself only everything is my responsible <laughs> okay okay yeah thank okay, you fine yeah thank you friends i hope everyone is clear yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, Rag, Rag, yes, sir. Just one question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so you mentioned that uh, there will be some uh, special classes on weekends also. That will that timing is seven to nine morning. Yes, morning seven to nine. That to four weekends I will take. Not so. Uh, not in uh, after three weeks I will take the uh, this DevOps class. After three weeks I will take the DevOps classes. Not right now. Okay. Okay. After three weeks, I will take that. So morning seven to nine, I will start it Sunday. Two hours. Yeah. Sir. Yes, sir. So without the knowledge of a manual testing, can we learn the Selenium? Yes. Yes, we can learn, sir. So earlier people no, used no. to have it like that. Testing the no automation be understand. Nowadays everything is automation, sir. So we can uh, go with automation without having manual knowledge, also. Yes, we can go with, sir. Right. Also, you okay. can learn if you want. But there is no dependency of learning manual testing only. We have to come to the automation. No such kind of restrictions, sir. Okay. Honest time. Okay, sir. The people have it like that. Outside institute people will have it like that. Later, right. also you can learn. Not an issue for that. Okay. And uh, if uh, we have any queries uh, yes. after this session or after the trainings, yes, see, and after the uh, session, after see, after nine o'clock, nine o'clock will be completing the session. Uh, after completion okay. of our session, uh, you five ten minutes time. If you have any queries, you can you can ask me in that uh, in the class only, or uh, you can put the mail, friends. Okay, we can First directly tomorrow, put a mail. Yes, you can put a mail, or in the class also you can ask after completion of your session. So now no, now session no. is completed. Any doubts? I'm asking. Now you can. I'm asking like. Right I'm asking like once I completed two months training, okay. And if uh, there is anything uh, we wanted to ask you, okay. so we don't have that your you contact number. Mail. That that you can put a mail. Okay. Mail coming. Can directly. The duration of okay, the class, okay. I'll be available after after the every day session ends. You can ask the questions, whatever you have. After completion of the course, I'll be available in through mail only. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Now, will you make a create a Telegram group or WhatsApp group? So you can communicate the management for these things, sir. Okay. Oh, for group with all those things, you can. In mail, I will be always available. But uh, phone means uh, you have to communicate the management. Okay, request them uh, for this. Uh, okay. So please share your email ID, sir. So I will share, sir. I will share that. Once you have done your uh, payment, all those things, you will get uh, uh, recordings and documents through my mail only. So you can communicate with that mail, okay? Okay, sir. Every documents, every recordings, okay? Uh, everything will be coming from my mail ID only, okay? By the time you'll get my mail ID, okay? No worries. So what about the interview questions? Like, uh, will you guide us? Like, what type of questions yeah, we may I'm get here. for like experienced yes, people? Yes. Uh, yes, concept based. We'll discuss the entry point of view only, and endingly, I'll do the interview questions also. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Any more questions, friends? You have? No, you have? Sir, no. Yeah. So, friends, we are going to stop for today. We'll meet tomorrow, same timing with the same link with the station part. What I said. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello, Ravi. Oh.
Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, actually, I wanted to confirm about the payment. How it means it? Uh, what will be the timeline? It means. Uh, yeah. Day the management or, will be sending a mail, sir. Management will be sharing you the mail. Okay. Okay. Send a mail to everyone because yeah, we all. Because only have your mail IDs and numbers while you're registering. You're registered with your mail ID and your phone number, right? So yes, the yes, com yes. communicating you in sending a mail, sir, for payment. Uh, how do you do the payment? What account? What account? How much? Four thousand is a. They'll be sharing yeah, you that uh, account. Yes, you can pay to that. Account. You okay. told uh, we are onboarding from tomorrow onwards. That's the reason I'm just asking yes, that. Yes, what correct. 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 Yeah. correct. Okay, then. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.